Who was saying, oh my gosh, baby in zebra sprint? Yes, ma'am. Because I'm going to say what I need to say. What do you need to say? What did you say in oh my gosh for? Because I can't, oh my gosh. What's okay, up? then say what you need to f- uh, What you All gonna right. do? Wow. You gotta go. 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 All right, guys, we got to talk about this fascinating story from this modern woman, okay, who's kicking and screaming on a podcast on how alpha she really is, okay? The only problem is she gets a little bit of pushback on the podcast. She ends up spiraling out of control and crashing out, okay? Truly, truly fascinating, but let's go to roll the clip. Let's take a look. If you want a woman to listen to you, obey you, that's fine. If you want a dominant woman, baby, I'm going to make bread with or without you. It's not necessarily. It doesn't, make, it doesn't I'm mean an alpha. she's not taking a woman. So it's not necessarily irrelevant. being like they're obeying you, like you're okay. obeying them. It's not that. Okay. They're, let them lead, and you no, just kind of. No, of course, I want a man to lead because if I can walk all over you, you I just don't said want the you. opposite like eight <laughs> minutes no, ago. Because at the end of the day, no, I did say the opposite. Because at the end of the day, I'm a dominant woman. I'm not gonna deny that. I'm not gonna <laughs> pretend nothing. I'm a dominant <laughs> woman. I'm gonna say what I want to say. I like. Like the threesomes, I like all that shit. woman. All of which are great but qualifiers the, for marriage. Wow. Baby, I ain't trying to look for marriage. I ain't looking for love. If you're looking for marriage and you're looking for love, go look for some somewhere but else. Isn't this whole about relationships? I thought that's what this Date, about. No, it's about dating and relationships. Okay, okay so yeah. dating and relationships. <laughs> yes. There's some women out there that like to be dominant. Sure. 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 There's sure. women who get paid to so, be dominant. So can I, can I, yeah. can I, can exactly. I just your point? Exactly. I've got. Yeah, for what type of though? Yeah, yeah. From what type? What type? Of can I address your earlier point? Yeah, so she's already losing control at this point in time. Uh, this is pretty much the eye of the storm here, but let's keep going. Well, you said about then, how you want. And then hold on, hold on, really quick. Okay. Yes, address My that. And, hold on, point. AJ, wait, real quick. Okay. All right, so address me. that really quickly. So, but hold on, okay. and then we're gonna ask uh, final thoughts, and then we're gonna close out. Go okay. Ahead. So what you previously just said about how you want you want to plan vacations, you want to ha handle the money. I think the uh, the that right was that was Tori. That was Tori. Mine. I want I want him to handle his, and we go half, half and a half. Okay. So I would say I would Preferably. say the 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 fair way to handle that would be on a budget, right? Like so, if a man is exactly. making if a man is making a milli, right? You can't expect him to come home and hand you a milli. But what he can do is be like, yo, our monthly budget is 10k. All right, what are we doing with this 10k? You can plan vacations. You can plan dinners you can do whatever you want with it point that's being. exactly what I mean. the rest of the 900k that i'm making i'm putting it into investments you're not in charge of my money that's fine yeah and then if we decide to leave each other i got mine and you got yours and we'll be happy but that's why that's, and we'll get to just be able to move on but that's why it makes you a bad qualification for a relationship simple that, that makes you that makes you a bad qualifier for a relationship okay at the end of the day for, i gotta say you this. No, for any man. Can I for say you? something? You can't I mean, speak for all men. When you Gucci. say that, what do you what do you mean? Right, let me let me let me put it into perspective, right? So this whole idea of oh, men and women should be 50-50. The whole idea of, oh, I want to be independent inside a relationship is basically contradictory because the whole idea of a relationship is to become interdependent. Facts. So if I'm in a relationship with a woman, I'm not independent. Why do you want to be independent so bad? Yes. So if Because I'm, we're women and we work for that. Not emotionally. Oh Yo, you, you don't be listening at all. I why don't do emotionally. want to be independent? I just said that men aren't even independent in relationships. The whole concept of a relationship is to become interdependent. One. It's to become one. Yes. So if I'm making money, point being, this is for my personal preference. This not for every guy. I would rather date a girl who's making no money than a girl who has a career or has a whatever. Simply for the fact of what you just said. Your whole why? mentality. Let me finish. I'm telling you why. I'm asking you, so, baby. So what you just said, right? You said, oh, if I'm making my money and he's making his money and if we split up, we'll be good. But the fact that you're making money has already put the seed in your head that, yo, if we split up, we'll be good. If I'm with a shorty, I would prefer her to not be making money and be providing for her simply for the fact that if She's out making money. That means there's certain other responsibilities that she's not attending to, which make her a bad qualification to be my wife or my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Versus well, that's just coming from a family where I had to listen to my dad because he was the boss. I had to listen to my dad because he had the money. And then when he left my mama, I was the one who had to help my mom pay bills. I, I understand that. Mm -hmm. So listen. how am I supposed to grow up and want to live like that when I came from that? So, so I agree with why, you. Why would I want to put my Great kids question. through that? Knowing that I was 15 years old, having to work at Zaxby's, helping so, my so mom is, pay the lot bill. This is where How this am is I where supposed to do that? this is where I would criticize Western culture, right? Because Western culture basically breeds broken families. So, like you just said, your father left your mom. You should have never been put in that situation. The hmm. fact that you never had a strong man for women, right? Period. Like I was telling them so earlier. So you speaking for strong men, right? But how yo, do we? Are you a strong man? Hold on, hold on. Let's stay on. How do we know he's strong enough? Are you strong enough? We thought. Okay, no, no, no. Hold on, Tori. That's a great question. Actually, I'm gonna ask 
address I'm all the guys. We thought my go dad ahead. was no, no, no. strong. Go ahead. No, no, no. I think that's a great. That's a great question. That's a great question. question. I, think that's a great I think that's a great question. And again, I, it, it goes back to Western culture, right? Like I would say that you should have never been put in a situation where you had to work or do anything like that. But that's what the lack of a strong man hey. does in your household. When a woman doesn't have a strong man in her household, she doesn't know what to look for in a man. And that's probably why, as you girls were stating previously, you have poor male selection. Can I have a question? So what I would say the answer to that is, what I would say the answer to that is, is to find a strong man that you can trust and bring a man into when you're dating a man. So basically I'm get sorry. a man to check the man that you're interested in because men are able to better vet because... Essentially, men play a game with women, right? Men, men try to manipulate women through emotional figures to get them attached to themselves, to get whatever they want. But if you have a man, like for me, my cousins, my cousins basically put me into their relationships. So before they even got with their husbands or their, their boyfriends or whatever, they asked me to vet them. And as a man, I do a better job of vetting another man because I know how his psycho psychology works. Yes. Mm, okay. But we thought my dad was a good man for a good 12 years yeah. until he wasn't. Exactly. Yeah. And then it's like, so, you have a whole woman for three years and nobody knew. How are we supposed to. No, nah, I understand plan that. For I that? understand that. that that's, that's a tough situation yeah. to be in. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, for sure. There's always going to be anomalies. Absolutely. Okay. There's going to be scenarios where dudes just leave out on their family and just kind of take off, you know, dudes that are not really staying 10 toes down when it comes to their family for sure there's going to be scenarios like that but for the most part men typically don't leave these kind of situations okay they're not gonna leave their wife their family their kid their kids what have you um just to be with a mistress you know what i mean like that typically doesn't happen so i'm pretty sure there's more to the story that we don't know about but Let's keep going. Hey, no, we hey, have to plan hey, real quick, Tori, pause shit. real quick. Hey, y'all, no sidebars, no sidebars. Tori, go ahead. Yeah, so we have to plan, we have to prepare for that because that's always an option. Mm -hmm. We always have to prepare for what's going to happen because we can't be stuck on the side of the road just because some man want to throw us out for a prettier woman. Mm -hmm. Excuse or me. A, a quote okay. unquote better woman and then, to real him quick, in his eyes. I'm okay, ask AJ, a question you, yeah, go ahead. Because you, you thrown out all these facts, but like, I don't even know you as a man. You sure. a good man? I'm a great Wait, man. Wait, hold on. Are you? All right, let's get there. Because um, no, 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 Go ahead. You were talking about how, yeah, oh, yeah, women have a poor selection of men. And I don't think so because men can come out all like, you know, I got this time. Like, they, they always reflect they have all the strong qualities. And we think that we're getting strong Action men. Action speaks about lying. Uh -huh. about lying. Five minutes later, this man's cheating, doing all I'll tell you how. I'll, I'll tell you how. It goes back to the beginning of the podcast. Keep your legs closed. Ooh. That's what, hun, sometimes we do. <laughs> if, and guess if, what? If, we still I agree. If a man can't last, if you if you keep your legs closed and the man can't last longer than three months, then but he's wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold even on. Even though we keep our legs <laughs> closed, we do out everything here, in the book. We still get shitty men. I think he touched upon it earlier. Okay, it boils down to vetting out men properly. Okay, having a support system, a father figure, somebody in your life that can point you in the direction of good men. Okay, a lot of times, what you'll see is blind leading blind. Okay, you see single women asking other single women for advice when it comes to is he a good man or uh women will use their intuition okay they'll use their feelings to try to vet out if the man is a good man or not versus going to your father uh or a strong role model a male role model in their lives to determine hey is this a good man what do i look for in a good man in order to identify you know, is this person going to be somebody that potentially build a future with or, you know, possibly get married? But a lot of the times these modern women don't do that. <laughs> um, they go with, you know, how tall is he? You know, have good teeth or what have you? Does he have a beard? You know, things that don't really equal and translate to is he going to be a good father or is he going to be a good partner? But let me know what you guys think. Yes, me too. That's why we have jobs, get our money right, because we have prepared for a situation where this man became a So you're living thank on you. Thank you, thank you, red so, sweater. I that's why you like, name. oh yeah, I don't want a girl who's broke. Like, I want a girl who's broke. No, I don't know. My shit you together. want a girl who broke because yeah. you No, that's not what he said. No, 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 pause. He never, no, no, pause, broke, pause, AJ. So you can influence her, so you can manipulate her. No, I want to say that. If you got a boss ass.
influencer you cannot manipulate but that, that's, hold on, pause. So mad. that's the point of exactly. being a relationship if you a man and you in the head your job is to influence listen, your woman you know, one two three four five six I mean, seven I'm just saying, listen. And you if I'm be, in a relationship, listen, you she could be the one at a time, one at a time, no, one at a time. No, no. Eight in here. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. There's six in here. Don't, don't you play with me. Cause y'all trying to manipulate me. Cause I'm a woman. Wait, wait. I'm so confused on that. Anyway, go ahead. So, so. Listen, yo, no, 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 no. Everybody, 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 listen, everybody. Pause. Go ahead. I could be the head of the house, but like I could like have influence. I can have like thank you. Have option. I can like give my opinion. Like of course, of course. I'm not saying that. So I can I give you advice, like give you, you know, be there, or, like support you. Yo, but if, like you know, are you don't saying expect that, me to be like though? in the back. Yes, if, if, I, if I'm bringing, if I'm bringing a girl, if I'm bringing a girl into my house, or if I'm wifing up a girl, then I, that obviously means I respect your opinion. If not, I would have left you out on the street. Okay, but, but you saying but that? Do you pull as, through with that? Yo, let me finish. You got it from the street. Do you? Anyway, oh my God, hyenas, <laughs> right? Hyenas, just foaming at the mouth, ready to pop off. Right, ready to pop off. Like she's not even allowing this dude to finish or to, you know, have an opinion about anything without her popping off at the mouth. Um, crazy. Basically what you ladies are saying is is that oh, the reason why I need to work is because many and I never know when this is gonna leave me. You need to work but, because not but imagine, hey, let him finish. But, but imagine living life on the on the scenario that yo, if I walked out of my house, a car could hit me. Imagine if I if I went into the grocery store, I could get shot. What you guys are doing from a relationship perspective is you're living Ooh, off a worst case scenario. You're preparing for the worst <laughs> instead of instead of actually developing yourself for the best case scenario. Meaning what did you that I, mean, meaning, I can meaning, still develop myself in the best case meaning, scenario. Meaning, meaning, one at a time. Yeah. Okay, you can, you can do hold both. on, pause, pause. Say? AJ, sit down. Uh, can you sit down? Thank you. I'm going I'm, I'm to ask what you just said. What did you just say? If we want that, we can do what? I don't even know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I don't either. All right. No, no, no. no, 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 no you're done. You're done. All right. All right. Pause, wow. everybody. She AJ. Just cut off AJ. From the bottom. All right. So now, <laughs> let's get. What you talking about? Final let's thoughts. Go. We can start on this side. Final thoughts, right. final comments, <laughs> any debates that you want to have with somebody. I, I'll shut it out with this, right? AJ. I don't want to have to kick you out. Can you be quiet? Thank you. I, I, I shut it out with this, right? I, I shut it out with this. I'm, I'm absolutely. Anyways, uh, back to intellectual conversation. Um, I shut it out with this, right? I'm basic. I'm not saying that women don't have rights. I'm not saying that a woman shouldn't be treated right. I'm not saying that a woman shouldn't be taken care of. What I am saying is that men are good at certain things and women are good at certain things. And when you get confused, if I was in a woman's scenario, what I would be doing is trying to look for exactly what I'm doing from a male perspective. Yo, what do I need to do in order to acquire the perfect shorty for myself? For a woman's perspective, I would be thinking, yo, if I want to be with a good man, because essentially every single person on the planet has dependencies and we need people in our lives, I would be thinking, yo, what are the things that a good man looks for? And then I would try to incorporate those qualities within myself so that I can qualify myself to him just like a man is qualifying himself to a woman. Mm. But if you're living your life on a worst case scenario that, oh, if I'm with a man and he might leave me and I should do this, this and this, what you're doing is basically shooting yourself in the foot before the war has even begun. Mm -hmm. You're going into a relationship crippled. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I say something? Who said that? AJ. Go ahead. You sound sexist as I'm just gonna let you know. How is guess that? what? Cause I, cause I, be Yo. Because guess who changed our tire? Guess who changed our tire? A woman. Woman did. Wow. All right. Anyway, pause. You should be talking about things. I gotta say exactly. All right, AJ. You say a lot, but not saying anything. All right, you say a lot, but you don't say much. Hold on. Baby, I do wow. AJ, I, I I'm, I'm bills, this close. So I say a lot. You don't even know me. I'm about to kick her out. Thank you. You got to relax. You can kick me out. You need to relax. I can kick you. Thank you. All right, go ahead, Mila. A man taught me how to change a tire. Same. <laughs> but That's my name is Miami Brown on Instagram. Oh, my gosh. Who, who is saying, oh, my gosh, baby, in zebra sprint? Yes, ma'am. Because I'm going to say what I need to say. What do you need to say? What is you saying, oh, my gosh, for? Because I can't, oh, my gosh. What's okay, up? then say what you need to uh, what you right. you gotta go. 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 You g
We keep it classy around here. Uh, say, uh, say, say, she had too many drinks. What'd you say? Red pill overdose, Frank Castle. She did overdose. Yeah. About the overdose, Frank Castle. Is right. Don Frank Castle. Castle. Stop. Don Castle. <laughs> Don Castle. All right. I AJ. Do have, I do want to have something to say. All right. Let's, <laughs> okay. Yeah, you should get out of here, bro. Yeah, yeah, she out. Yeah, she out. <laughs> Okay. Y'all gonna be mad because I speak my opinion. Y'all gonna be mad because I speak my opinion. You're the only one who's mad. Y'all gonna be mad because I speak my opinion. You're, you're literally the only one who's mad. Oh my god. Stand up, baby. Okay. No, no, no. Sit down. You ain't got to do that. You don't, you don't, you don't entertain Roger this shit. I ain't gonna still be a sign, man. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm from Miami. I'm from Miami. Come on, show. Go, go, we ain't got get that box at you. Listen, for no reason. Listen. Want for no reason. Ex, ex All of my homeboys in here. This is my ex homie's ex house. Left. Thank you. Listen, Thank you. And this is my homeboy house. All right, guys, so there you have it. Okay, these hyenas are out of control. They really are. Okay, these fake, um, tough women. Okay, these masculine alpha, tough women, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're here masquerading as if they're alpha. Okay, they can't even take a little bit of pushback. Okay, all the lady said on the couch was, uh, oh my gosh, right? That's all she said, oh my gosh. And the lady in red is spiraling out of control, ready to crash out and to start a fight on the podcast. Okay, truly, truly fascinating. These are the same types of hyenas that talk about wanting a man that has emotional intelligence. Meanwhile, she has no emotional intelligence whatsoever. Uh, in fact, she's doing the complete opposite, okay? Allowing her emotions um, to spiral out of control over something so minuscule, okay? Truly, truly fascinating. Instead of her using her intellect to convey her point, okay? What she had to say, which people would probably respect her more because she's actually conveying and uh, stringing together a sentence and using her intellect versus trying to fight somebody because they disagree with her is completely ridiculous it really is let me know what you guys think go ahead and provide me some feedback and until next time